Hello and uh, welcome to this video series about chapter 9. Chapter 9 Sales and Operations Planning. Planning supply and demand in the supply chain. Uh, chapter 9 uh, refers to uh, chapter 8. As in chapter 8 we made an aggregate plan for uh, the supply chain itself. In chapter 8 we also crossed the Excel file we used uh, to come up with the aggregate plan. The, self, the same uh, Excel file we'll also use here in chapter 9. In chapter 7 we came up with the uh, forecast. So first we came up with a forecast in chapter 7. Afterwards, based on that forecast, we produced an aggregate plan. And now in chapter 9 we will finalize that plan and uh, we will come up with the final plan to, um, uh, to forecast the demand in the, uh, in the whole supply chain based on your uh, final consumer. So what are we, uh, what are we uh, uh, going to learn in the coming videos? First, manage supply to improve synchronization in a supply chain in the face of predictable variability. And then the same um, applies for supply and also applies for demand. And the last one, the use of sales and operations planning to maximize profitability when faced with predictable variability in the supply chain. Um, please recall the objective of supply chain management is uh, profit maximization over the whole supply chain itself. Uh, that profit maximization of course has to be ethical, but uh, ethicality is, an, uh, is a different course and we will not cross those, uh, those issues in this course, uh, but please refer to that course in order to, um, uh, to put profitability in a, in a good perspective. Um, what's also an, a very important uh, part in chapter 9 is, is predictable variability. In this case we are crossing only predictable variability. In uh, further chapters, we will uh, come up with solutions or partial solutions to unpredictable variability. Um, when you want to uh, respond to predictable variability in the supply chain, you have broadly two solutions. You can either uh, manage your uh, supply if you want to manage your uh, supply, then you are uh, doing that through the uh, push system. Uh, the push system uh, relates to uh, chapter uh, 1 in the, uh, in the book of Supply Chain Management by Sunil Chopra. And that uses capacity inventory, subcontracting and backlogs. Um, as you are using your uh, inventory and as you are not using um, uh, uh, as you are using capacity uh, inventory subcontracting and uh, backlogs you could refer that to the um, uh, to the level and the flexible strategy in chapter 8 in chapter 8 we crossed uh, the chase uh, strategy, the level strategy and the flexible strategy. And you could relate uh, supply, so um, um, uh, to mitigate the uh, variability to through a uh, level production strategy and through the flexible production strategy. Uh, the second broad um, approach is demand. 
in uh, demand, uh, you are using short-term price discounts and trade promotions. This uh, chapter in the coming video, we will cross the short-term price discount and the trade promotion. Now we are uh, focusing on the supply part of uh, mediating variability or participating on variability. Um, when you try to um, come up with a solution, you can use the supply side itself. Now what, what are you able uh, to do then? What are your options as a supply chain manager to do? Um, you can use time flexibility from uh, your workforce, use a seasonal workforce, subcontracting, dual facilities, as in a specialized and flexible uh, one, specialized uh, being the, um, uh, 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 the fixed cost, um, uh, uh, pretty low, and the variable cost, pretty high, and flexible, just the other way around and designing product flexibility into production processes. Um, you can also use uh, inventory, um, but as you use inventory, please keep in mind the cost of inventory. So if you want to use inventory, please only uh, uh, use that if um, if your profitability of your or your profit margin is large enough that you can cover for um, uh, uh, for the extra inventory carried from period to period to another period. Um, as there is an inventory and capacity trade-off, um, you are uh, leveling your uh, capacity is in anticipation of uh, future demand. Uh, as you level your uh, capacity, you are using the level strategy of the level production uh, strategy, as mentioned earlier. And carrying low levels of inventory requires capacity to vary with seasonal variation in demand or enough capacity to cover future um, uh, peak demand. When you do so, your production facility itself has to be um, very uh, flexible and uh, so you can, um, so the, the cost of, uh, of not using your, uh, your capacity, your uh, workforce, <coughs> sorry, and or your uh, machine park that you can cover, that you can use the chase uh, way of uh, production. So this is the level way of production, this is the chase way of production. Um, this can also be uh, used for the flexible way of production. In the next video, we are uh, going to cross uh, again the red tomato uh, garden tools example used in the book and then we got some uh, practical examples when to promote uh, in peak period or in off peak period.